In this video, I want to show you how to do a boost leak test. So here's the main concept. The tool that you need is, we call this a boost leak tester. You can buy something similar online. This is something that I made. So basically, I have a three inch, this is a three inch tester. I got a three inch exhaust pipe welded to something that's flat, a piece of metal. And then I drilled a hole smaller than this tire tube or tire valve and then pulled that through so then now I can take my coupler and you want t-bolt clamps and then you can connect it to your compressor housing once you have it connected to your compressor housing and with the clamp secure then you can pressurize the whole system and spray soapy water on it there's a lot of people that don't do this, but this is the most critical thing that you need to do with a turbocharged uh, truck or car or vehicle, uh, just in general. Mount your boost leak tester using one quality silicone coupler and two T-bolt clamps. Then add air to the system with an air chuck. Next, spray soapy water on all of the pressurized areas to identify the leaks. These boost leaks will rob you of your horsepower, spool up, and your fuel mileage. I fixed this boost leak problem by installing a brand new layered silicone coupler and two T-bolt clamps. Take time to do this boost leak test to identify all of the leaks because where some of these leaks are may absolutely surprise you. I thought this was the only leak that this truck had but it had two more. Don't trust worm clamps or factory hardware. Sometimes the factory hardware is good, but sometimes it can leak, just like I'm showing you here. Now this was actually put together by me, and I tightened down those worm clamps with a ratchet wrench. So I know that the, they were plenty tight. Now here is a hose that came off of the intake plenum that goes directly to another boost solenoid and you could see how much that was leaking. For this I just cut the end of it off that was really badly dry rotted and would no longer take a seal to that nipple. Once I cut the dry rotted area off I was able to just slide it back on as it normally went and it sealed perfectly fine. On the other end of this hose where it connected to the boost solenoid or whatever this is, it was also leaking. Take your time as you do this boost leak test because these boost leaks will rob you of your fuel mileage. I cut this end of the hose off where it was leaking and it reinstalled the clamp and it seals perfectly. The Power Stroke 7.3 has a really common issue with the up pipes leaking. In this case, I just welded them up and it also seals very well at the manifolds, which is the only place it has to seal now. Now we finally got our horsepower back. So if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and comment if you learned something new. This is the 7.3 Ford Power Stroke that I did the boost leak test on. The most common places for a boost leak to appear that you wouldn't think about as the throttle body and the compressor housing seal and also the piston ring seal on the turbo to where the boost would go down into the crankcase. So far, every vehicle that I've done a boost leak test on has always had a boost leak somewhere. So be sure to check yours.